letter's definitely coming today. Oh. Say what time. That might be it. Hello? Hey, it's Nick. Uh, it's Nick. Does he realise it's 8.15? I know what it's about. He wants me to help get Damon's name off the Bistro's late licence. Well, how are you going to do that? I'm not. I keep telling him I'm not David Blaine. Oh, Harry uh, just said, does he have to go to Gales? Gales? Yeah, he does. I'm working from home. He'll just get bored. Oh, hey, come to Do you realise it's 8.15 in the morning? So? It's too early. Well, it's not. We're family. Anyway, you're always at David's. If it's about the late licence, you'll have to contact him yourself. Yeah, but he won't return my calls. Well, you need his signature on those documents if you want to be completely free of him. Oh, well, can't you email him? I don't know, threaten him. On what basis? He's not done anything wrong from a business point of view. You just have to keep chasing. Right, well, maybe I'll forge you. That would be a serious offence. OK, OK, I'll get out your hair. I won't call so early next time. Not without a warrant or written permission. Good. Oof. Who out her cage? All right, see you later, boys. See ya. Right, Mr. Balboa. I thought you were still in the sack. I tell you what, that Nick Tills is rapid. Mm. I saw him down the park, he practically left me. He's always quick off the mark, that one. You should put some free equipment at the wreck. Parks are full of it over there. Well, right to the council. Or better still, Auntie Maria. Get her to start a campaign for you, she would. Mm. I'll stick with what I've got. Oh, Ryan, don't go getting too big now. Some right meatheads in my gym. They'll be on all sorts, I imagine. Yeah, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with protein supplements. A bit of creatine, stuff to help you recover. Mm. Oh, do you know a Colm Sweeney? Why? Well, there's a parcel arrived on the doorstep this morning to this address, but none of the boys downstairs have ever heard of him. Don't ring any bells. Mm. Take it to the post office, then. Oh, I'll do it. Are you sure? Made it to Ireland and back. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He's pulled out the whole thing. You know, he drove up to the shop, he wound the window down, and he said the entire deal was off. What about Courtney? Sitting on the passenger seat, with your feet on the dash, smirking. And then he screamed, Do you know the reason why, Dev? You know the reason why. And did you? In the dream? Because I beat him at the pro celebrity golf tournament. <laughs> What were you doing in a pro celeb? Oh, there's something else. Yeah, Courtney's feet were like breeze blocks. Breeze blocks? Yeah, instead of wearing shoes, she, she was wearing these breeze blocks. What do you think that meant? They'd be one for analysing dreams, you know, just, just like nonsense, aren't they? And like the time I dreamt I had a sexual experience with Steve. You dreamt what? I've had another look at the figures. Um, I can't think of anything that could have speak the horses. See, this is why I think it's something else. This is why I think it's something to do with old concrete feet. I thought you didn't analyse dreams. OK, I'll do this and I'm going to ask you something. OK, it's embarrassing. I'm going to ask you this once. We ain't going to mention it again. OK. Do you think that Courtney is in love with me? You? She just, like, you know, fancies me or some such? Maybe. No. It's just a dream. Hmm? So what's with the meeting, the urgent meeting? You saw the message, didn't sound very friendly, did it? Have you ever beaten him at golf in real life? I mean, I know he destroyed you the other day. <laughs> well, he didn't destroy me. I mean, I have to check the scorecards, you know? D for Darren or V for Vance? Oh, in date order. Look, maybe it would be for the best if the whole thing just fell through and we didn't end up in bed with them, in business with them. No. No, 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 no. This is the big bait for you. We've been waiting for and it's all down to you, Bubba. It's all down to you. Now, you can't lose your bottle now. So that's why you're taking the day off work, to intercept it? Well, I'll just keep nipping down to the lobby. The courier might need me to sign oh. for it. And if you do get your hands on it? I don't know. I'll rip it up. So he'll ring the clinic again? 
Yeah, I, I know. It's not perfect. And you'll pack Harry after your mother's and take another day off work. Well, I, I work mainly from home anyway, so... Yeah, rip up uh, the new letter. Oh, and... Right, I, I know. I get it. I, it's, it's just the best that I can do right now. Tell him the truth. I don't want to lose him. <laughs>